When you were a child, making friends is pretty simple. All it generally takes is asking kids nearby, "Do you want to be my friend?" However, making new friends during adulthood gets much trickier. We become busy with work, family, and other obligations. We no longer have new classes every semester like we did in college, or summer camps to attend, and as a result, we meet fewer new people. Plus, we've grown to be terrified of rejections, so we don't put ourselves out there. But here's the thing: while making new friends can be intimidating, it's also extremely rewarding. Finding, building, and maintaining friendships is actually one of the most fulfilling and important things we do in our lives. Without friends, life wouldn't be the same at all. And the good news is that whatever the circumstances, you can find friends in almost any situation and keep them for life. To help you get started. We've gathered for you six steps to follow that can take your social life to the next level. Step number one: realize that fear is only in your head. Some of us see meeting new people as a scary event. We put ourselves under a ton of pressure. We are concerned about making a good impression, what to talk about, and how to keep the conversation going, whether the other person will like us or not, and so on. The more we think about it. The scarier it seems, this initial apprehension can eventually become a paralyzing fear, which ultimately blocks us from making new friends. But actually, all these fears are just in your head. Realize that while on the outside it may not seem like that, the vast majority of people are too busy being concerned about these very things themselves to pay attention to you. In other words, while you're worried about the impression you make. They are worried about the impression that they will make on you. Doesn't this lower the pressure already? Step number two: Try connecting with people you already know. We tend to think making new friends is about starting from scratch, but sometimes it's just about going deeper with people you already know. Chances are, you already know a few people who could potentially become good friends among your coworkers, classmates, or even people in your social media network. Thinking about your colleagues, for example, you could ask them to grab lunch together during the workday. That will give you a better opportunity to talk and get to know each other a little bit better. And perhaps, next thing you know, you will become golf buddies or go hiking together the very next weekend. Anyway, if you don't see much friendship material among colleagues, just remember that opportunities for connecting are everywhere, and most people will be happy to expand their social circle. For instance. If you are a parent and don't feel you have much time available, you might reach out to the other parents of your child's classmates and set up a playdate for the kids, which can be a great opportunity for you to get to know some new people. Step number three: Get yourself out there. We know this is not what you wanted to hear, but as cliche as it may sound, to meet new people, you must get yourself out there. If you sit and wait, it just won't happen. You have to actively search for new friends. Remember that usually the basis of making a friend is a shared experience, and because of this, joining a group or class based on something you really love, or volunteering for something you really care about, can be a great first step for finding friendships. The choice of activities you can try is endless, from crafting to book clubs to language courses, running groups, cooking classes, or joining a sports team. Just find something you enjoy, and if you don't know where to start, don't be afraid to try out new things. You will not only spend more time doing something you love or exploring new things, but you will also meet people with similar interests and passions, which is always a great way to start any relationship. Step number four: Take opportunities to talk to strangers. You don't have to go to classes, volunteer, or practice a sport to be social. Truth is. Any time you talk to someone, you have a chance at making a friend, and you can talk to anybody, from the clerk at the gas station to the person sitting next to you on the bus. You will quickly find out that people are usually friendly and happy to talk to you. Now, chatting with strangers generally feels intimidating at first, but it is just like any other skill. The more you do it, the better you get at it. With enough practice, it will feel completely natural to you. Just let loose and don't worry about saying anything special. Simply focus on the other person, or say something lighthearted about the environment or situation. For example, you could compliment the other person about a tattoo they have, 
asking about a piece of accessory they are wearing, or about their job or the car they are driving. And if their reaction is positive, don't forget to introduce yourself at the end of the conversation. Step number five, be proactive and say yes to every opportunity. Once you are out there with people around you, someone has to make the first move. If the other party doesn't initiate a talk, take the first step and say hello. If you don't, you might miss an opportunity to strike an amazing friendship. You see, all too often we wrongly rationalize that if the other person is not engaging first, they aren't interested in us. But guess what? Since you haven't approached them either, they are most likely thinking that you might not be interested in getting to know them. So make an effort and make the first move to break the ice. Then, just like being proactive is critical, force yourself to say yes to literally every opportunity to socialize. Sure, choosing to stay in watching Netflix is tempting, but that won't do you much good. Even if you enjoy your alone time, you need some friendship in your life. So go to that friend of a friend's stand-up comedy show, or your neighbor's housewarming. There could be at least one person there who could become your next best friend. Step number six, try online. And with that, we don't mean endlessly liking random pictures on Instagram. There are now lots of online resources for finding groups and even local communities that share your interests. For instance, meetup.com is a great social networking site. In most cities, there are meetups for almost every kind of activity or group of people, including board game lovers, book clubs, hiking expeditions, writers, vegetarians, entrepreneurs, and so on. Pick out your interests and then show up at the next group event. Many meetups are geared towards socializing, so you never have to feel awkward or nervous about coming alone. Most people who attend the meetup are also looking to make friends. Then you may also try a mobile app for meeting people. If you've ever used Bumble for dating, for instance, then Bumble BFF version is literally the same concept, just meant for friendship. You still make a profile with a few photos, add a bio, and then swipe right on your favorites. That gives you plenty of potential future friends literally at your fingertips. And with that, we are at the end of this video. Surely, making new friends as an adult is not the easiest thing. It takes investing time, energy, stepping outside your comfort zone, and being vulnerable from time to time. But surely, even a single new long-lasting friendship will repay you of all the effort you've put into it. For now, thanks for watching High Living, and see you next time with more tips on how to level up your life.